into the door we go. For a uh, frost break fortress. You know, speaking of frost, I've been kind of thinking of switching from a Templar to a warden. I don't know. It seems seems cool to me. I totally forgot I need to put the audio up. So if you guys don't know, I actually don't record everything in one sitting. I just kind of create that illusion by stopping. And ESO makes this perfect because it logs you out at the exact moment. But when I'm playing normal, I put the volume down because I like to watch videos or listen to music or whatever while I play the game. And obviously I don't want to be listening to the game. Plus I don't want to pay attention to the story because I'm experiencing that here on the channel with you guys. So it kind of it kind of works out a little bit, but I totally forgot that I always forget that I have to like put the audio back up. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, I've I've kind of been change uh, deciding to go from a Templar to a war. Questions before did. we go in there. Now's the time. Whatever you say, King. I can see why my mother was so insistent about confidence. Yes. Stupid. No. Your fine ice heart is a legend among the Reachmen. For a while, we didn't even think he was a real person. But he's very real. And if the rumors are true, he's going to be extremely difficult to kill. Somehow, I find that a little hard to believe. But I suppose we'll find out once we get in there, won't we? Uh, tell me about these rumors. They say <clears throat> your fun has ice in his veins. That he can freeze an orc's blood with a flick of his wrist. Probably an exaggeration, but... We should be careful. Either way, between the two of us, I'm certain we can beat him. As long as you're certain, I suppose. Of course. More or less. But in case the battle goes badly, I should thank you now. I haven't fought alongside anyone I trusted since I became king. It's been an honor. Ah, enough with the deep conversation. You ready to smash Iceheart's face? I'm ready, let's go. Yeah, if I do do that though, if I do switch to a warden, it's probably going to be on the next series once we complete this DLC's main story. This guy literally froze people. Kill Ufron Iceheart. So, the king of the big children has come to die. Your soldiers failed for all. And so will you. Uh oh. Was that a mistake? I love it when my enemies mock me. Helps me work up a good grade. You treat everything like a joke. Ah! Uh, I'm a little nervous. You mock the fallen and dishonor their sacrifices. Dishonor them? <laughs> I'll honor he's already them almost dead. Separating your head from your body. The king is literally just standing there, blocking. What a G. Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. Iceheart's blade is mine. Now maybe the clans will finally accept my rule. Perhaps. You don't know how good that feels. Your fun Iceheart is finally dead. Imagine you ate too much, and try as you might, you can't get out that really big belch. Then, finally, you let out a thunderous burp. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> I imagine that feeling being more uh, relieving than joyful. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys would probably feel had that situation happened to you. I don't know. Is the siege over now? For all practical purposes, yes. The remaining Winterborn will put up a fight, but without a warlord, my soldiers should be able to wrap this up in short order. As for me, I can't wait to show off my trophy to the clan chiefs. Trophy? Yeah, Iceheart's fancy sword. Can I have it? it? Should prove to the clan chiefs that we killed the warlord. Might even convince the fence sitters to finally accept me as the rightful king of all the Orsima. So what's our next move then? I want to check on the supplies the Winterborn stole from us and get them ready to transport back to the city. Meet me at the keep when you're finished here. I want you there when I tell the chiefs what we accomplished today. Sounds like a plan. So, 
do we... Where's the keep? Hold on, I, I gotta see this. The keep is... Back in Orsinium. I might as well just fast travel there, right? It's the faster... It's the fastest way to, to go. I might as well. Rothgar! This city is pretty cool. It's a little confusing to navigate through, though. About wandering a city's streets with no destination. Whatever you say, there, Bastion. All right, where is? Oh, and it kind of it kind of helps because like if I go with the warden, I'll probably do like an ice theme. And I got this cool mount right here, dude. This frost mare and this frost atronach horse, because uh, I don't know. It was uh during the, cause the uh, what is the event called? The uh. New Life Festival's going on right now because it's at the end of the year and stuff and it kind of works out. It worked out perfect. So it, that's kind of what started the whole curiosity. I kind of want to swap over to a warden. But let me know down in the comment section if that would be that would be cool if you guys would like to see that. You know? I know I would like it, but I don't know. It would be interesting. The whole environment here in Orsinium is actually really cool. My hunters brought in an entire herd this morning. We should okay. have enough for the feast then, depending on how Down below. Is. This one committed no crime. Please help the bunny. Help the bunny? I know that's not her name, but still it's kind of sounded like she said the bunny. You're not a bunny, homegirl. You're literally a cat. How do I go down there? I do not know. Oh, here? Because it says above. I could have sworn it said below a second ago. Oh, it's the bunnies below. Never mind, I read that wrong. The actual quest objective is above, but the bunny. The bunny. <laughs> I swear, am I the only one that thinks that sounds like the bunny? We didn't come for a servant. I meant no offense, Chief Barzrag. I only seek to spread Trinimac's good words. Again with these Trinimac lies. Let me show you what Malakat thinks of your stupid words. Your anger is uncalled for, Clan Chiefs. Please excuse us, Soldra. I see our champion has returned. You? They pulled you into their madness? Uh-huh. How disappointing. Well, screw you then, bud. Hi, uh, Forge Mother Alga. As you can see, the clan chiefs can be a contentious lot. They oppose King Kurog at every turn, especially on matters of faith. But tell me, was Kurog successful? Did you defeat the Winterborn Warlord? As a matter of fact, we were successful. The Winterborn Warlord is in fact dead. King Kurog asked me to meet, you, uh, meet him here, actually. I knew you'd be able to help Kurog in his mission. Perhaps now the other clans will see that Kurog is destined to lead us all. Once all the clans unite, just imagine the power we will wield. So why are the chieftains here? The king sent for them. They are a few of the more vocal opponents to my son's plans, and they refuse to bend their knees to him. I see. They're bas He's basically wanting to show off his accomplishment. To maybe turn their mentality around about him. So these chi uh, these chieftains don't agree with King Karag? They are blinded by centuries of custom and tradition. They refuse to see the glory that King Karag wants to bestow upon us all. Instead, they stick their heads in the mud like a frightened Argonian and pretend that the old ways are so much better. Got it. And King Karag wants to change that. My son wants to free us from the traditions that hold us back. They mire us in outdated notions and restrictions. We need to become a modern society if we want the other kingdoms to respect us, to take us seriously. King Korog will make that happen. I get it, man. I understand. So is he going to come out? Excellent. There he is. Everyone's here. The time has come. Swear allegiance to me. 
Orsinium will prosper once the clans unite under my rule. This again, Korog? <laughs> Why should we submit to you this time? Behold, I wield the blade of ice heart. With the help of outsiders, I have vanquished our greatest foe and retrieved the stolen supplies. The chiefs could not stop the Winterborn. Only I have accomplished that. You ask much, Karog, to turn away from Malika, to abandon our most cherished customs. I don't think it's Rod, working. My old friend, your outdated ideas will be the death of me. Don't tempt us, Karog. Our traditions won't bend to the will of an idiot chief who decides to call himself king. Idiot. Wait, what? Chief, I am your king. You would all do well to remember that. Now get out of my sight. Uh... Embark on a dangerous path, Karog. We won't forget this. Um... I think we're helping a bad guy. He murdered the chieftain. Treasonous bastards. I just saved their ungrateful arses, and this is the thanks I get? I even showed them my heart sword. How can I create a united nation when the chiefs refuse to accept my rule? Was that a typical example of your usual, uh, meetings? More often than not, yes. There's always some fool who wants to quote the code of Malakath or insult my honor. It infuriates me! How can we build a respectable kingdom when we can't even abandon our most ridiculous superstitions? Supersti- but you literally adopted a new god, if you will, a new, you know, theological presence over another one like you replace one for another so i mean it sounds kind of hypocritical i think did you really need to kill the chi uh, chief targak targak it's all i could do not to kill all three of those troll lovers let bosrog and dular think about what happened i only hope they can set aside old traditions and accept the future i envision their support would make things much easier do you need anything else from me? For now, no. <gasps> Go explore Rothgar and get to know this great city. Enjoy yourself. When you're ready for a new challenge, find me at my private tavern in the city. I'm sure I'll have something that requires your specific skill set by then. Will do. Iceheart's Blade. So this is... Nothing special. It's just a named sword. That is not good at all. And I can't even take it. Uh, I mean, let's get rid of anything, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. Treasonous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it the first time. So, now I gotta go... To the tavern. That is insane. Dude, he straight up murdered the chieftain. I don't know... We should have enough for the... I'm starting to question our actions. Because that did not need... He didn't even need to murder him, you know? He disagreed with him, but that... I mean, come on now. If you kill everybody you disagree with, dude, uh, this world would be 100% one-sided, and the rest who are not on your side would be too scared to oppose you. So they'll pretend they're on your side, but in reality, they're just scared. Meaning, we have more of a dictatorship than anything. So I don't know, I, I kind of, I'm starting to regret everything we're doing here. <clears throat> this is it, right? It's gotta be. There he is. Over here, come and have a drink with Rothgar's king. Sure. I can't even talk to him. Never mind. Try the iceberry ale. It's delicious. I love this place. Back at the keep, I'm always being pulled in a dozen directions. Fighting over here, debating over there, gives me a headache. But here, here, I can just eat and drink until I pass out. <laughs> Are you safe out here, uh, out here in the city like this? What do you imply? That Korok needs protection? Ha! Iceheart wasn't the first to challenge me, and he won't be the last. Let my enemies come. They'll wind up dead and bloody at my feet. That's what royal servants are for. To clean up the mess. 
Is violence your solution to every single problem? It's a good thing I like you. Because the last person who asked me these sorts of questions had the curiosity beaten out of him. But I don't want to fight with you. That's not why I called you here. Are you ready to listen? Yeah, sure. If I guess. I'm listening. We opened Orsinium to the best and brightest. Crafters, farmers, scholars. Anyone who can help bring my vision to life. I leave the details to my wives and mother. But you attracted my attention. Which brings us to the big question. So what can I do for you, King Karag? You helped Chief Vazra. You fought at my side as we defeated Iceheart and his Winterborn warriors. In short, you impress me. People who impress me either turn out to be a help or a hindrance to my plans. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not really. Let me speak plainly. You could pose a threat to me, but I prefer to consider you an ally. Share a few drinks, like we're doing now. I could use someone like you. Someone to deal with problems that require a more personal touch. What kinds of problems are we talking about exactly? Clan chief problems. There are still stubborn chiefs out there who don't agree with my vision. Who don't want to see our people united. They're stuck in the old ways. Ways that have failed our people time and time again. It's time to change that. So basically, you want me to talk to the clan chiefs? You made an impression on Basrog. Whether he likes it or not, he owes you for helping the clans. The other chiefs respect Basrog. We can use this whole situation to our advantage. Get them to listen to matters they would normally refuse to hear. So what do you want me to do then? For now, nothing. Relax. Have a drink. Enjoy all the pleasantries that Roxanne and her fine establishment have to offer. But when I need you, I expect you to be ready and willing to get the job done. Oh, for what are those two doing here? For those two? Damn it! You two always show up and ruin my fun! Oh, I have not even begun to ruin your fun, my king. But let's leave the pleasantries for later. <clears throat> we have an urgent situation to report. I can never tell when you're joking. <laughs> Fine. What's so important? The Trinimac Temple has been attacked, my beloved. Malakath devotees have barricaded the doors and taken the priests as hostages. These fanatics dare to attack my city? My people? I'll deal with them personally. You will do no such thing, my son. After what happened in the throne room, this is undoubtedly a trap. I won't sit by while they attack my city! This problem requires a personal solution, and I have a perfect idea. Let me guess. Outsider, me. Let us talk. My son's bravery borders on stupidity. <laughs> he would run off and stumble blindly into their trap without the slightest regard for his safety. We must not allow that to happen. And I suppose you have a better idea? Oh, child. I always have a better idea. My son's rage makes it difficult for him to see clearly. His instinct is to charge every problem straight on and beat it into submission. His enemies know this and often use it against him. And you believe the attack on the, uh, on the temple is a trap? Is that what you're saying? Basrog and the other clan chiefs know King Kurog all too well. They expect him to attack and kill the heretics just as the heretics will kill the hostages. Innocent lives will be lost and blame will fall squarely on Kurog's shoulders. Yeah, no, I get that 100%, but... If that's the case, what do you expect me to do? Like, what do you want me to do? You are an outsider with connections to Orsinium that are tenuous at best. Enter the temple and rescue our people. If you succeed, you save innocent lives at the king's request. If you fail, well, at least the king won't be blamed. Yeah, I suppose. Very well. I'll do as you ask. This should be interesting. It sounds like we're going to have to do a stealth mission. Let me get rid of this real quick. 
So it's at the temple. Okay, this, this should definitely be interesting. Let's ride. How do I get there? This is the problem. Uh oh. It's confusing to navigate through here. It's like, I guess if I spend more time here, it would make more. It'll be easier to navigate, but. The game is pretty massive if you haven't already played this game. And because of that. It gets really hard to just focus on one area at a time. So it says below. Oh. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I played that smooth. Everyone, clear the streets and go home. Let the king's soldiers deal with this. And me. Hello. Back away, citizen. We have enough to deal with as it is. Soldiers can't do their job with all you civilians getting underfoot. Hold up. Wait a minute. All right. I'm here to rescue the hostages. Just because you carry a weapon doesn't mean you know how to use it. And as you can see, I already have more amateur warriors volunteering to help than I can handle. Why don't you just stand back and leave this to the professionals? How about the king sent me? If you don't want him to get mad at you, I'd suggest you let me help. Right, and I'm High King Emmerich's long lost brother. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game, outsider. I hope you realize that. Well, Forge Mother Alga will verify my story. Very well, I'll check with the Forge Mother. But if you've lied to me, I'll hunt you down, toss you in a cell, and throw away the key. You think there's a back entrance up the stairs near the Mage's Guild? I sent soldiers to find it. Okay, so by the Mage's Guild, how do I get there? The Mage's Guild is right here, so I gotta go- Man, I gotta go back to the way I came from, don't I? Literally, back up there. That sucks, but it's okay. We'll get there eventually. Okay, not this way. Excuse me, coming through. It is above. This is literally the exact spot we were. Except instead of going right the way we did before, now I guess I'm going left. Find a way into the temple. Hmm. So it's around here somewhere. It says... It says below. Defend the temple. Oh, crap. Sit your butt down. Alright. I'm gonna take a sneak peek. Well, that didn't take long. Who shot at me? He never saw that coming. Hey, you! Stop! He literally never saw that coming. That was funny. I just literally came from the top with a jab from outer space. Thank Trinamac you're here. Someone has to save my fellow priests inside the temple. I was supposed to talk to Evely, but I guess I didn't. I don't even know where she's at. Hello. Please, I, I need your help. The priests inside the temple are at the mercy of these fanatics. Please, I think they want to kill my brothers and sisters in Trinimac. Do you know what happened in there? Malakath fanatics. They burst into the temple and began rounding up my fellow priests. They spat at us and shouted that we were betraying our race. They said that Chief Basrag sent them to punish us for opposing the true god of the orcs. Uh, I'll do what I can to save the... Well... How did you escape? They made such a commotion when they barged in. I spotted them from the upper balcony and slipped out the back door. I was about to go find help when more of those ruffians surrounded me. I thought I was finished. And then you showed up. But Chief Bogrog sent them? They invoke the chief's name, saying he seeks revenge against the king and any who follow the false god. I've known Chief Bogrog to be a hard man, but never a cruel man, never a murderer. What has the king done to anger him so? 
There was a confrontation in the throne room. I see. I respect the king and all that he stands for, but his temper, it has gotten us into trouble more times than I care to remember. If it's vengeance Vazrog seeks, then the king will be responsible for the deaths of the temple priests. Yeah, I agree. He shouldn't have never murdered the dude. I'll do what I can to save the priests. My you have my word. priests were still alive when I slipped out of the temple. But the tension in the air. I'm afraid violence is inevitable. They set up patrols inside the temple, watching for Kurag and his soldiers. If one of them spots you in there... I won't let that happen. They're holding the priests captive in the rectory. If one of the torchbearers spots you and reaches the rectory, you won't be able to save them. Avoid the torchbearers at all costs, or at least strike them down before they can sound a warning. Okay, I'll do my best. Take this key. <clears throat> it will unlock the temple's rear entrance. Once inside, you'll need to find the key to the rectory, where they are holding my fellow priests. The fanatic who gives the orders, their commander, he probably has the key to the rectory. Got it. Kill the commander. May the luck of Trinamac be with you. I'll inform the guards and try to send more help your way. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a stealth mission. Wasn't expecting that, actually. Pretty sure. As soon as Kurog arrives, we kill them all. Ooh, that's a torchbearer. That's a torchbearer. Ooh, yikes. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. I think we're good. I gotta keep. Oh, shh. Dude, this dude scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, there's another guy right there. Oh, there's two of them. And a torch bear. Two torch bears, actually. Actually, the other one I don't think is a torch bear. It's just a fire staff. Come on, Bastion. They're coming this way, so it's better to take them out here. Never got to sound the alarm, baby. Let's go. Nice. It's working out great. Where did he go? Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He was literally a one-shot. I should have went the other way now that I think about it. Oh. Sit down. Oh, God, dude. This is... There's too many of them. So, I think the torch bears are the only ones that can call or sound the alarms. Whoa. How do I get over there? Should I just jump down? If I jump down, oh, there's three there, two there. Quiet. I mean, it's working out great so far. And I emphasize so far. Ah!
my god, dude. Oh, there's one right here, too? Can I just go around the back? Okay, I guess I, I guess I can. Oh, that's a torch bear. I gotta be careful. Half the people here are already dead, though. <laughs> Oops. Not really. They're not good people, so... Or maybe we're not the good people. I don't know right now. I'm kind of conflicted. How did you get in here? Shut up. No You'll be dead. Bastion! Kill him! That was the commander, right? Every villain is the hero of their own story. That's not what I wanted. Funny that. Okay. So now I gotta go back the other way. That's not fair. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh my the god. Of them. That was close. And the torch bear is coming and they're never even gonna notice the fact that half the people are dead. <laughs> oh, those are like the worst security guards ever, aren't they? Be like, oh look, dead body. Hmm, I wonder if that was there before. Okay, so we're we're golden so far. Oh god, I said detected for a second. <clears throat> this temple is in the rectal area. Those are the priests. For Narnia! Wait. Who shot at me? I love that sit down effect, by the way. They were going to kill us. They weren't. There's trouble afoot. There's trouble afoot? Okay. I don't know how to thank you. These fanatics, they beat us, threatened us. They told us they were going to kill us as soon as the king or his soldiers showed up. But you got in without alerting them. You saved us. The others, though. Oh, no. Tell me about the others. High Priestess Salgra and our brothers and sisters in Trinamac. The fanatics gathered us up and forced us in here. But Solgra, she isn't one to put up with such nonsense. Uh oh. She put a blade into one of them and ran into the back to help the others. Wow. I was not expecting that. Where can I found, uh, find Solgra and the others? I have the key. I'll open the door for you. Thank you. Find the others, please. I don't know what Solgra planned to do, but she had that look in her eyes when the fanatics started hurting our people. No, I get that. Show me the way. Solgra and the others should be somewhere through this door. It's okay, I got Bastion with me. We'll be fine, I promise. I'll find a way to open the main temple doors and let the soldiers in. Good luck. Okay, thank you. For now, I see two of them. Therefore, they must die. Good job, Bastion. Get her! Don't let her escape. Where did that come from? I'll die before I let you hurt the others. Is it this way? So it wasn't this way. But I should probably stay and sneak for as long as possible. Get the drop on these guys as much as I can. Bernardia! Yeah, see, this way, this way it helps. So those are more bad guys. Like, I feel bad for killing them. Because they're just retaliating for something the king did. You know what I mean? Do I have... What does this do? I don't want that. 
Honestly, I'd rather have... I don't have any, though. Reach men say that fires are only dangerous when they get bored. That's why we tell them stories and let them lick our food. Lick our food? Orders be damned. You're going to die for that, priestess. One. I plan to get a dozen more to go leave my temple now. And she is brave, dude. I gotta give it to her, dude. She's a G. Is that her? Oh! <gasps> Oh, this guy's tough. Bombs away. Done so. I thought I could handle them. The odds got a little overwhelming. Don't worry. I got your back. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine once I catch my breath. Just got the wind knocked out of me a little, that's all. She is a G, dude. I'm impressed. She is a G. Do you know what uh what this was all about? Not exactly. They claimed to be devoted followers of Malakath and said they were working for Chief Basrag. They caught us by surprise, threatened us. Did you run into Ugus? How are he and the others faring? Uh, Priest Ugus and the, uh, Ug Him and the others are safe. Well, that <clears throat> puts my mind at ease. I hated leaving them, but the others back here needed help too. But I'm still not completely certain what the attackers hoped to accomplish. Why take us hostage? Why not simply kill us and be done with it? They wanted to embarrass the king. Spill the blood of innocents and blame the king for their deaths, for not being able to protect his people. What a fiendish scheme. But the king sent you in his stead. Very astute on his part. That decision may have saved many lives. Funny thing about that is... It wasn't really his idea. It was mommy's idea. What can you tell me about the fanatics? We were supposed to assume they were Malakath <coughs> devotees, but they didn't seem particularly religious to me. Even I don't believe Malakath would sanction a slaughter such as this. They mentioned Chief Basrag, though. Said he gave them their orders. Do you personally think that Chief Basrag was behind all of this? All of this? I've always found the chief to be noble, but it doesn't take a lot to change a person. His forts ravaged, his traditions threatened. I can see how such things could lead to this. The king and the forge mother must be told what happened here. Goodbye. Yeah, no, I agree. That... Hurry hey, look, now. more of them. Wow, okay. She got close to the end, then. Is there a faster way out of here? Or do I have to go all the way back? Honestly, I think I have to go all the way back. So that sucks, but it's okay, I guess. Let's see if I find any other bad guys to absolutely obliterate. This is the last of them. <gasps> Let's finish these bastards off. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm here for you guys. And done. You guys did great. You did all of the work. I did nothing. And that was one of the... Oh, these are both of the shield wives. The women in the Orsaber... Uh... I guess, you know, race. Like, they're, they're people. They're tough. They're tough. I love it. I love it. They're probably tougher than the men, I think. <laughs> I'm glad to see you and the priest alive. I believe things may have played out very differently if you hadn't agreed to my plan. I think you're right. Priestess? Is Sobra all right? The high priestess is safe. I sought out to that. That is good news indeed. I will make sure that a military contingent protects this temple going forward. It will not be left undefended again. A military contingent? Increased patrols around the perimeter, <clears throat> soldiers assigned to guard the inside of the temple. The priests will not have to live in fear of another attack, not so long as my son is king. I assume you know who claimed responsibility for this? Well, funny thing about that is that the fanatics claimed 
to take orders from Chief Basrog. Basrog has never agreed with Kurog. He made threats in the throne room, as I'm sure you heard. Besides, his boldness and devotion to Malakath are legendary. It appears Basrog wishes to challenge our king. That's in that, I don't know. Something seems a little off about all this. If Basrog is behind this, what should we do? My son needs to solidify his hold on the clans. All of the chiefs must accept Kurog as their king for the betterment of the Orsama people. If we gain support of the clans, we can stop Basrog without inciting an all-out war. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? You have done much already. Many lives were in danger, yet somehow you managed to make sure none were lost. Please take this for being so careful with my people and keeping their safety in mind. We will find you again when the king needs you. Uh, sure. Of course not. I don't care. Only you have. Okay, there we go. Solgra, my child, come join us. Are you injured? Should I call a healer? I want to hear this. Yes, our call for assistance has already proven to be a more than worthwhile endeavor. She didn't even say anything. Okay then. So do I have to go back to the bar? To talk to uh, the king again? I'm going to assume that's the case. But luckily for us, there's actually a way we can activate the next story mission. So if I do this, zone guide continues zone story. No. Zone? Continue zone story. Why is it taking me... To Glenumbra. It's literally not what I'm trying to do. Ah, oh, there you are. Guess what? I have another message for you from the king. Oh, perfect.